This time around, we're going to focus our attention on angles that are greater than 360 degrees. Therefore, we're going to be looking at the um, trigonometric ratios of angles greater than 360 degrees. And as always, please like, share, subscribe. Let's go to the objective. Now, we are focusing again on the area of trigonometric ratios of angles greater than 360 degrees. And again, we'll do it by trying out some questions or that of angles that are greater than 360 degrees. And before us, we have three angles there, 800, 1030, and negative 1000. As a start off, let me say that angles that are greater than 360 degrees are normally angles that are more than a complete turn from the zero 360 degree line. Again, we, we normally convert by converting the number of complete turns, that is the number of 360 complete turns from the given angle. Now, let me show you how we do that by trying out the three questions before us, 800 degrees. First of all, we'll ask ourselves, how many 360 degrees are there in 800 degrees? There'll be two. Therefore, we're going to have 800 degrees is same as 800 minus two 360s, or 720. And that means 800 degrees is the same as just 80 degrees, since the person will have repeated themselves two times, going two complete turns, and just going 80 degrees in the third turn. Therefore, we now look at the sine of 80, which is just 0 0.9848. The cos of 80 is the same as 0 0.1736, and the turn of 80 degrees, which is uh, 5.6712. Moving on to 1030, we are going to ask ourselves, how many turns do you have there? Obviously, there'll be two. Since the third one will take us to 1080. And therefore, 1030 degrees is the same as 1030 minus 2 360s. And the answer will be um, 310. That means the angle... 1030 degrees, same as um, 310 degrees. Now, it is the fourth quadrant. That should inform how we convert and which trigonometric ratio will be, will be positive. The conversion will be 360 minus 310, since in that quadrant, in the fourth quadrant, sorry, we normally convert, we normally convert by having 360 minus the given angle, in our case, 310. Remember that only cosine is positive in this quadrant. And therefore, we're going to do the trigonometric ratios as follows. The sine of 1030 is going to be negative, the sine of 50, which is a negative 0 0.7660. And the cos of 1030 will be the same as the po positive cos of 50. Cos of 1030 is the same as cos of 50, which is just uh, 0 0.6428. And lastly, the tan of 1080 will be the same as the negative tan of 50, which is uh, negative 1.1918. We move on to negative 1,000 degrees. Now, this time round, we have a different angle. It's negative and bigger than 360. But this is how we progress. The 1,000 degrees, we're going to convert by subtracting the complete turns, first of all. So we have negative 1,000 degrees, which is a negative, which is an angle measured clockwise from the 0, 360 degree line. That is clockwise. We're now going to look for it's equivalent but within 360 from 0 to 360 degree an angle between 0 to 360 and therefore we first of all just convert the way you've been doing in the other time only that we know that we are measuring the angle clockwise this time and therefore 1000 is the same as uh, 280 degrees and let me say that negative 1000 degrees is the same as negative 280 degrees so uh, negative or rather 1000 degrees clockwisely measured is same as 280 degrees also clockwise measured now we turn to it and clockwise we will say 280 negative 280 degrees will be the same as 360 minus 280 so this angle negative 280 degrees is same as 80 degrees and that tells us something the negative 1000 degrees is just the same as positive 80 degrees from the 0 to 360 um, degree line this time around measured anti-clockwise and therefore now the angle we, go, we are going to look at the trigonometric ratios as follows is just a sine of 80 which is 0 0.9848 the cos of 80 again which is a 0 0.1736 and the tan of 80 which is same as 5.6712 and that brings me to the end of the, uh, the lesson 
about the trigonometric ratios of angles greater than 360. This time around we had a big negative angle, negative 1000 degrees. Hope you find it helpful. Check out also for upcoming videos. Thank you.